What if I told you that this is Project Zomboid with all the population settings set to zero? You'd probably call me a liar because those are obviously zombies. Like, there, there, and uh, there. Well, here's a doozy for you. Project Zomboid has an alternative way of spawning in zombies besides the AI director. These alternative methods are related to those stories, events, and some buildings you find scattered across the map. And as you can see, these event-based Zeds don't follow the normal conventions for respawns. Those bastards. To those who are subbed, welcome back. And to the fresh meat. I'm Jeffy Dude, your neighborhood Project Zomboid nerd. With this video starts a series where I'll be digging into how Project Zomboid handles spawns. Today I'll be talking about stories, and these fall under four categories. Zone stories, vehicle stories, building stories, and what I'm just going to call special. You can run into these on the outdoors, indoors, and sometimes even in the middle of nowhere. Zone stories happen outdoors, and they are area specific. So you're only going to find a beach party on the beach, you're only going to find a hunter's camp in the forest. Vehicle stories happen on just about any road or path. Even those little dirt paths that you see going through the woods sometimes. Building stories are specific to buildings only, with some buildings only containing special types of stories, such as like the school or a spitbos. Now you can mess around with these by entering debug and right clicking on an open portion of the screen. In order to spawn in zone stories, you can just right click anywhere and go to UI. For vehicle stories though, you have to right click on a, a suitable portion of road. And for building stories, you have to right click while inside of a building. Now I'll go ahead and show you every story that exists, but if you don't feel like sitting through that, I'll toss a timestamp down below that you can skip forward to.
There you go, you asked for it. That's every story in the game. Don't take that as the definitive list though, because as with update 42, expect changes. All right, on to the next thing, and that's the mechanics of these stories. As mentioned in the intro, these event and story based sets don't follow typical spawn rules. They can take a cell above its max population, they don't care if you have all the spawn and population settings set to zero, and they aren't tied to any timers. They don't care about the respawn and scene setting, and it can happen in places that may not make any sense. They are randomly generated as you explore new areas for the first time, popping in at the edges of your chunk. They can happen just about anywhere too, even in areas with low or even no zombie population. A good rule of thumb is the less populated the area, the less these will spawn in. In keeping with not making any sense though, you can still stumble onto some Zeds sucking down a corpse in the deepest part of the woods where no one would realistically even visit. These are mechanically separate from the normal Zeds that spawn into buildings, because these stories spawn in suddenly and randomly whenever a new building enters the player chunk for the first time. Zeds and buildings have different spawn mechanics, and I'll, I'll cover that in a different video. Now, all this can sound pretty intimidating, but don't worry, because they only seem to happen once. I've ran through entire portions of the map, cleared out all these events and stories, and then ran back through a full end game year later, and didn't have anything new pop up. Also, I bet until now, you never even really thought of them anyways, because they typically blend in with the normal Zeds. 